Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the Jaspies 18 box, The Martian Baseball Mixer. Random team break with obviously The Martian, a Jason Dominguez autograph giveaway. Ladies and gentlemen, there, there he is right there. I'll show you it's this exact one right here. There you go. So someone's going to win that one, which is going to be awesome. It's a good looking card, good looking autograph big prospect for the Yankees. Could be huge. Might have got some baseball bag too. All right. These are the boxes involved in the break. No veteran commons or paper base ship. Uh, no paper at all in the in these Bowman box right here. Jason Dominguez, as usual, Jason Dominguez paper, Bobby Witt Jr. paper, Robert Possum paper. Those three guys will ship. Though. I'll be pulling those as we go along. And this is a mega box chrome auto too. That's pretty awesome. Big thanks to these folks right here. So whether you bought teams straight up or whether you won spots in those jumbo pack breaks, I appreciate you getting in. Thank you. All 30 teams in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a two, five times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Do your names first. The randomizer for the Jason Dominguez, of course, will be at the end. Mike Tower down to Jamie. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we got the Brew Crew down to the Reds after five. All right, so Mike with the Brew Crew, Josh with the Astros, Ryan with the Angels, Jesse with the Padres, Adam with the Rockies, Wade with the Giants, Wes with the Royals, Stephen K with the A's, Michael with the O's, Josh with the Josh W with the Cardinals, Fred, you have the Tampa Bay Rays, Tony with the Mets, Adam with the Marlins, Michael with the Pirates, Jason with the Rangers, Matt with the Braves, Alexander with the Yankees, nice, Michael with the Tigers, Jack with the Blue Jays, Brian Zeller with your last spot mojo, you got my Dodgers. Michael with the Nats, Quinton with the Phillies, Ron with the Twins, Zach with the White Sox, JC with the Cubs, Matt with the Indians, Wade with the Red Sox, Zach with the Mariners, Rick T with the Diamondbacks, and last but not least, Jamie with the Reds. There you go. Yeah, Ale Alex is happy about the Yankees. Sweet, he says. Somehow I don't think he's going to be trading, but everyone else, you are welcome to trade. I mean, maybe make Alex an offer, see what he thinks. All right. There you go. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and they'll have the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, folks. A little bit of uh, trade chatter, but at the end of the day, no deals were done here on Wednesday the 17th in our uh, The Martian baseball mixer featuring the Jason Dominguez autograph that we're giving away at the end of the break. Separate dice roll. Big thanks to everybody who got in. Jimmy was asking earlier, any reason why uh, some, some Luis Roberts would have RC logo and some don't? I don't know, actually. Let's grab this. You can see all the boxes on the cart up there. I'm just going to keep snagging boxes out of there. We're going to close with the, the two Gold Rush boxes right here. I think those have like graded cards in there and everything. That would be a good way to end the break. We'll go through some heavy base product cards first and stuff like these mega boxes these kind of bulky sized boxes did days baseball uh, Sean Mercer's acting did baseball decide to play yet or not anyone know yeah does anyone know as of a day ago you know I think I think baseball uh, people a lot of people were very skeptical about baseball but after today, it seems like Rob Manfred and Players Association President Tony Clark got together in secret, I think, in Arizona somewhere, you know, maybe in the middle of the desert, properly socially distanced. And uh, apparently they built a framework for, uh, they built a framework for a baseball season that will, that will be... 60-ish games or something like that with an expanded playoff. And guess what? Turns out the uh, turns out 
the players will still keep the original prorated contract agreement, which is really what it was because it was originally the owners who were the players and owners agreed back in March, hey, we're, we'll do it this way and we'll prorate it a certain way. And then as more games started to slip away, then the owners were like, ah, we're not going to get the revenue, so let's cut some more salary. And the players like, wait, no, we already cut it in the first place. You know, so these pinks aren't numbered, but they will ship. So, Sandy Alcantara to 390, 361. And we'll sleeve and top load, load all of those before they go out. So, yeah, so I, I think um, this does not, this bodes better for this season, but I don't know if it's going to bode well for. Uh, this is 2019. Uh, it's going to bode well for uh, the CBA argument that they're going to have to go through, negotiations they'll have to go through at the end of the 2021 season. So that's going to get even dicier there. There's Rowdy Tellez for the Blue Jays, Jack B with the Bluebirds. But I think we're in a better position. Yeah, and maybe Dr. Fauci helped as well. Sean Mercer's mentioning, yeah, he was just like, you know, can't have baseball go too far into or go too far past October as it gets colder, you know, with the second wave concerns and all that sort of stuff. So, what's foot? Yeah, I don't know what football is going to do. Fauci saying cold weather is not good. I mean, there certainly won't be any fans in any of these parks. I think that's going to that's a given. Yeah, what's football going to do? I think at this point, though, I have a feeling that, that Fauci will just be like, let's do that elite. Fauci will just be like, listen, if, if, the, if, the, players, if the players and owners are okay with it, I mean, I guess, what are you going to do? You know, here's the recommendations to be as safe as possible, and now it's it's up to it's up to the players. Got pack hiding down here. All right, so that was 2019 Don Donruss baseball. This is 2015 Panini Elite baseball. Be some. Interesting blast from the past here. But I don't know. I mean, Fauci's in a tricky position. You got to have stuff. I mean, the economy is being wrecked for a lot of people. A lot of people who rely on how people rely on sports, you know, for to to generate their their income, whether you're a part timer or full timer in sports. So they gotta they gotta figure something out. Well, we'll, we'll see. Wild times we live in, ladies and gentlemen, but I think as long as we keep doing our part to stay clean, basically, we should be able to, to at least be able to maintain some sort of normalcy all the way into whenever, whenever a vaccine pops up. At a 299, we got Alex Rodriguez. Nice Yankees edition. Going to Alexander W. Alex for Alex. I mean, that's the tricky thing, right, Sean? The economy, because because people are saying, well, here's because of the way our healthcare system is set up. You know, whether you like it or not, whether you agree with it or not, it's it's usually poor, usually. You know, minorities, usually poor, are the ones being affected the most. There's David Ortiz, Red Sox, Wade Valentine. By this, they're the ones that rely most on the multiple part-time jobs, right? 
so how many lives are we risking there by not having you know money available for for them jersey and autograph to 299 jonathan scope that's for uh michael belfi first you have to get it out of people's heads that the government's going to put a tracker in the vaccine people watching too many too much x-files Fine, they can they can go ahead and get COVID, Rebel. Maybe that'll be that'll that'll weed out the dumbs. There's Edwin Escobar. I'm sure anti-vaxxers will have tons to say about that. That's also for the Red Sox. With Jacob Degrom, die cut to 52. And that's David Justice, two out of five. Wow. That's pretty nice. Matt McCray and the Braves. Nice, Matt. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice way to start this mixer. Only a couple of boxes in, 18 boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Settle in, this is gonna take a while. Some Diamond Kings out of the way right here. There you go, 2020 Diamond Kings, the latest one. Ryan S. saying good luck all. Someone let Ryan know that he might be lagging behind. Tell him we're already three boxes into the mixer. Or I guess he'll eventually hear it when I say it. Oh, you're just coming in late. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So he's not lagging behind, my bad. No, no halos yet. I think the best hit so far was that uh, David Justice out of five that we pulled. Although I really like Jonathan's scope. I re really wish he would have. I still think he could pan out. Where is he now? Is he on the Twins now or is he on the Brewers now? He's somewhere. Maybe the bouncing around has kind of affected him a little bit, but he's got some he's got some upside. Tigers now, says Jesse O. I had him on my fantasy team for a lot of years. He, he filled some spots pretty nicely in my auction draft, which is pretty pretty inexpensive. Ah, putting the kids to bed, says Ryan. Well, now 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 it's now it's. Dad relaxation time. 18 out of 99, AJ Puck. Yeah, I like Diamond Kings too. It's really, they don't have better value. Yeah, I think I think it's in somewhat intentional just on the price point itself. It's just a friendlier price point, I think. Dual Relic, AJ Puck, Stephen Kendrick. So I think that kind of matches up with the way it sells on a secondary market. But I think for what it is, I think it's a great product. It's a lot of fun to open. And I think this year in particular, they really trimmed down the checklist a little bit. They stopped doing too many of these frames. A frame once in a while I think looks cool, but they kind of overdid it in football and baseball the last couple of years. And so I think they trimmed that down, cleaned up the design a little bit. I think it looks nice. That looks nice. Quad relic and autograph. 22 out of 25, Glaber Torres. Glaber Day going to Alex W. and the Yankees. That's a nice hit. We've got Property Brothers on right now, but I think 6 o'clock Pacific, that's, that's a good time for The Feud, right? One of my favorite game shows, Family Feud. Oh, these guys are going under. They're already on the second person. 
And they only have 80 points. They're not getting 200 in fast money. Sorry, Julian. You've let your family down. Oh, yeah, not with two goose eggs. You, you're, that guy's dumb. All right, now another another heavy base set right here. 2019 Heritage Base. Did we do any Her Bowman Heritage? I don't know if we did any group breaks of this. None that I remember. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> Zach Paul says, I don't want to be that guy, but I smell something big coming. Me out of this Bowman here. It's one autograph a box. No, we haven't, we still haven't gotten into those Bowmans yet. We got museum collection. We've got a lot of graded cards in there. Um, we're getting some of these base heavy cards out of the way first. Extraordinaire, no. Baseball mixer's happening literally right in front of your face right now. But uh, the basketball mixer, I don't think we're gonna have time for. I think we're many spots away and I think show ends at nine o'clock Pacific. So I think we're gonna, gonna just miss. So these do look like Cracker Jack box. Fred saying it's like Cracker Jack packs. Well, maybe they are. Maybe that was intentional. Good answer. Oh, no, number two answer. Lick their lips. Number one answer. Wow. You gotta, you gotta play. Sabella family's gonna play. See where you're going with this. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared, so she sent me to live with my cousins who are living in Canada. Man, that guy practiced that all day. Jordan. It's a family show, Jordan. It's family feud. Not for Jordan. Alright, so 2019 Bowman Heritage. This really clean design right here. Although I don't really see see names on on the front. There's Cole Tucker for the Pirates, 81 out of 99. So all those Chrome cards will ship. RCs will ship. This will ship. Tampa Bay, Ronaldo Hernandez to 99 for Fred Schultz. Should be one autograph in here.
Refractor Brandon Marsh for the Halos to 199. And we've got, nice, 11 out of 25 orange autograph, Chad Spangenberg. Spangen, Spangen, Spangen. Was he, a, was he a Padre? Looks like he's going to the Blue Jays in this one. Spanberger. That'll be for Jack and the Blue Jays. Stephen K says the design is 1953 Bowman. Gotcha. Oh, I get it. Bowman Heritage. But all right, I get it. Uh, 199 for the Nats, Luis Garcia. Got some gold right here. Victor Mesa Jr. Not Victor Victor, but Victor. Mesa Jr. Adam Kupperman, Marlins. I don't think even his family was not saying good answer, good answer. Hey Rex, yeah, Bowman Heritage. I, did, did I break any of this Rex? Do you remember? I don't remember. <laughs> Diamondbacks, Taylor Widener to 99. Out of 75, Royce Lewis for the Twins. When's he, when's he coming up? Isn't she, oh, he's from Elisa Viejo? I feel like he should be coming up soon, right? Number one overall pick for the Twins. When's his time? Ron Shepard with that. Did he maybe a cup of coffee last year? Uh, Rex says he doesn't remember us breaking any. Yeah, this is 2019. Looks like the look like a hobby edition right there. That's William Contreras. That's Wilson's brother in the Braves organization. All right, let's. What about some Stadium Club? That's right, HP. When a family on family member on family few, and they're like, okay, okay. Yeah, not good. I like the, I also love the hesitation, good answer, good answer. That's not a good answer. If someone's like, you know, snails. Okay, good answer, good answer. And it's like, that's not a good answer. It's not a good answer. All right, Stadium Club from 2019. No, this break is going to take, I was going to say, I feel like we're running out of boxes, then I realize we have some of those Bowman baseball, two jumbos and two obbies to go. That hit draft is getting closer though, ladies and gentlemen. I've got another hour in this break, but Jason Jaspi is ready to rock on uh, Instagram, at Jaspi's Breaks only on Instagram live. He's got three left in the one box NT basketball hit draft. People wanted it to happen. I think Rex recommended that the other day, but it's happening, Rex. On Instagram, I guess some high rollers were listening to you, and they they asked today. I think it's happening. What's up, Seth? And I think we comboed the base and the printing plate spot too. Alright, Stadium Club, always excellent photography here. And sometimes stuff like this. Sean Reed Foley, rookie autograph for the Blue Jays. Jack B. The Bluebirds.
You'll trade me that Eminem Kamikaze signed poster we pulled for a spot? No, Rex. We don't wanna we don't want something that high valued going to going to an NT hit draft spot. That's worth so much more, Rex. We don't want to be taking money from you. You can hold on to that. Listen, we're not we're not thieves, Rex. You hold on to that. And there's another autograph, Jalen Beeks. Remember, uh, remember in Godfather Two, Don Fanucci who wanted to wet his beak. That's what Jalen Beeks reminded me it reminds me of. That goes to Fred. Jalen the Black Hand Beeks. Don Fanucci. I believe in America. That's Godfather 1. So. All right. Oh, box loader. What do we got here? An Astro? An old Astro? It's the Ryan Express. It's pretty cool. I shot it. I wonder, some of these must be odd. They put numbers on the pants? That's wild. That goes, that's Astro's edition going to Josh K. Back in the day, they're putting numbers on the pants. Here we go. Name a job where you'd be bending over a lot. Whoa. Construction work. Stripping, he says. Wow. Cut right to the chase. No, not on there. Delivery man, that's a good answer. We should start getting some cases of Aunt Jemima pancake syrup to give away. Bottles in these? No thanks. I'm not going to be... Hmm, should we stock more NT? No, we've run out of space. We've got all, that, all those syrup bottles in the bag. Pass on NT basketball. How much space do you think we have? Not enough space, Rex. Trying to build more space here to 99. Michael Belfi with the Nets. Oh, you know what? Hang on, what am I doing here? I'm not sending this paper. Let's try to separate these out here. Wait, did someone say plumber? So he's got to say someone's got to say plumber. Oh, they did say plumber. That's number four answer. They don't have the number one answer yet. Can you guys hear the question? A nanny bending over a lot. What job would you bend over a lot? Gardener landscaper is two, but that's only eleven points. Hmm. 
Where am I going to put all this paper here? I'll put you down here for now. I love when people say it's there. The answer's up there. All right, we got to hear what these answers are. This is wild. Number five. Farmer. Garbage man. You got to say it like that, too. Number one, construction builder. Yeah, Rebel, you got it. Construction worker. Escort, says Stephen K. No, the first guy says, first guy said uh, stripper, and it was not up there. He got, he got the ant. Eh. Eh. It's anybody's game. It's anybody's game. Construction worker was number one answer, Rebel. You nailed it. One autograph per for each stack right here. What's going on here? Is this Finding Nemo? Oh, Kellogg Club Mini. That's, that was that was some off-brand for Finding Nemo there. Oh, let's name the zones, the zones, the zones. Let's name the zones in the bottom of the sea. Remember that guy? That guy was the best. Next box. Good luck. There's Mike Bowman. Bowman. Mike Bowman? Mike Bowman Chrome right here. That goes to the O's. That'll be for Mike Belfie and the Orioles. Lolo Sanchez to 4.99 Refractor. That's for the Buckos. That'll be for Mike Belfie and the Pirates. We got Brent Rookner to 655. His favorite chess piece, the Rook. He's always castling. The king and the Rook. We've got Austin Allen, the double A, 146 out of 499. Padre is going to Jesse O. And then we got Chris Bryant Blue. That's to 150 on that Chris Bryant. JC got randomized the Cubbies. All right, I think I need more regular top loaders. Hang on a second here. I thought you were out. I'm out now. <laughs> He's out now. Boss man's working too hard, ladies and gentlemen. Boss man's working too hard here. Shoes. Ah, clothes, shoes, number one answer. Oh, that's tough. Um, I want to do the hobby boxes first. Take off for makeup. Good call. Yeah, number three answer.
All right, so we're now in, so we're gonna do, here's, here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna do two hobbies, two jumbos that are right here. We'll do museum collection, then we'll run through the inception and clearly authentic, that box of tier one right here. And we'll close with these two boxes, which should have graded cards and stuff inside, which would be nice. But yeah, this is the latest Bowman Baseball 2020. Four boxes of that. So if you have the Royals, like Wesley Thomas, you've got time to pay attention. If you got the A's, like Stephen K, listen up for some Robert Possons. And of course, if you're Alexander W, who bought a spot straight up in this break, was rewarded with the Yankees, you're looking for Jason Dominguez. Of course, everyone still has a chance to win that Jason Dominguez at the end. So. If your break turned out to be terrible, you're like, Joe, what a crappy break. Don't worry, you still have a chance at that Jason Dominguez and then it covers everything. Answer here: Closed shoes, glasses, makeup. I think that falls under the closed category, Axios. Take off weight. That's too clever. That's almost too clever. The question is, 100 women surveyed, they think they look better when they take off their... That's right. Hey, uh, I'm going to go get food with them, but uh, I know Max probably didn't come and be like, hey, what's Jason? Because he just bought a spot in the truck. Just tell him I'll be back in like 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay. Makeup's already on there, Cyprus. Hair, wig. Okay, that's... Hmm. Did not see that coming. Shoes was up there too. That was under the clothes category. Number one answer. I'm not, I'm not sure about this family here. I'm going under 200 on this. There's paper Robert Pawson for uh, Stephen K. Do these have as much value as they did when this first came out? Maybe. Well, he's got to gotta start playing playing well too. So. This is another network where the where the commercials are way louder than the program itself. It's a new advertising technique to get people to lift their heads and watch the TV. Bobby Witt Jr., Chrome, that goes to Wes Thomas and the Royals. I think the hobby version should only be one auto per box. I don't know if you guys overheard Jason, but uh, he just left for a dinner break, so he'll be back in about half an hour, maybe even a little bit less, and I'm sure that NT NBA hit draft that he's been working on on at Jaspi's breaks should probably be full by the time he gets back. And, ooh, there it is, an autograph. Wes Thomas, who got randomized the Royals, he won a spot too in that one of the jumbo pack breaks, ends up with the Bobby Witt Jr. autograph. Not numbered, but pretty nice. Second overall pick in the 2019 MLB draft. There you go, that is nice. Just one autograph in the box and there it was.
Uh, Zach Paul senses even something bigger than that Bobby Wood Jr. There's Dustin May, purple paper to 250 for my Dodgers. Brian Zeller's got my boys in blue. Uh, Nick Galvin, I don't think we're going to have time for that that master case tonight. But we can fill it up and have it ready for uh, for Jason tomorrow. Jason's going to be out of town this weekend, so there's Shane Boss, 25. So we're switching my Thursday for his Sunday. Shane Boz for the Rays. But I, I should have time to do that, that second eight box inner case though of upper deck ice. All right, there's Chris Valmont, paper to four ninety nine. Bobby Witt Jr. paper this time. Fast money. I'm taking the under on the 200. We have 100 men. Name a foreign accent that for some reason turns women over. Australian. Name a shiny musical instrument. Trumpet. Name a pet that doesn't do a lot of tricks. Cat. Name the strongest part of your body. That's for you, Alex. Your leg. Who, who should a guy never tell a girl she reminds him of? Her dad. Ooh, maybe I was wrong. Those are some good answers. We asked 100 men that have a foreign accent that for some reason turns women on. And you said, they're French. Somebody said. 44 points. That might be a number one answer. Unless it's like British or English, that is, or Australian. Another hobby boxes. I'm gonna get smoked. She's already at 106. She's at 141. Uh, fast money's too fast, CK. Can't get there. Oh, I think she mixed up that answer, but they're at 141 already. I don't think I'm gonna get. I don't think I'm gonna get under unless Tao just messes this up. Accent turns people on British. Twenty-seven. French was a number one answer. We like French accents. French accents are nice. Shiny musical instrument, clarinet. That's not. Yeah, that's zero. Ooh. Saxophone, flute. Pet doesn't do a lot of tricks. He said rabbit. That's not a bad answer. Another goose egg. Is he gonna blow it for the family? He said glutes. That's part of the legs, I feel like. Yeah. Well, just gotta get some more people to spend their life in the gym that would say a damn glute. 
He's got three goose eggs in a row. Unbelievable. You're going to blow it for this family. You're out of the family, Tao. He said X. That's pretty good. Four goose eggs in a row. Wow. Mother number one answer. I've never seen a choke that bad in all my years of watching Family Feud. First person got 141 points. Next person got 27 on the first one and then rolled four straight goose eggs. Wow. You're out of the family. $20,000, you're never playing fast money again. Unbelievable. Out of the family. He's never going to hear the end of that. We could have had a new bathroom in this house. You j or you just have to, yeah, you disown that mem family member, Stephen K. Or you just roast him every, every family function. Well, we could have gotten a bigger turkey this year if it wasn't for... Sorry about the presents this year. Could have been iPads for everybody, but. Alright, guys, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Top six answers on the board. We asked 100 men. What would you do? Randy Arozarena to 50. I think I hear, heard the question. Uh, what do you do when you get man boobs? He said surgery. That was number one answer. But that's 47 points, though. I would have passed. All right, we got Anthony Velo to 50. Wow, it's a family show, Erica. And your autograph is Dios Bel Arias, Rangers. That goes to Jason K. Paper Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, goes to Wes Thomas. Sick Patch saying that family member would be you. Just screwing it up for the rest of the family, shorting them $20,000 because you rolled four goose eggs. Jason Dominguez paper for Alexander and the Yankees. And a Robert Pawson chrome. That goes to Stephen K. Jason Dominguez spanning the globe chrome.
to press them, press them down. Tape them down. <laughs> Mike Tower is saying families you'd like to see on Family Feud. The Corleone family or the Manson family? Would not want to see the Manson family on the Corleone family. Is this is this with Vito Corleone? Would we get would we get Brando out there? Godfather one cast. Are we talking about the immediate Corleone family? So would it be like Michael and Sonny and Connie and Fredo? Two jumbo boxes coming up. Or is this, can this extend to the Capo? So would, be, would it be Michael Corleone and Tessio and Clemenza? Okay, oh, guys. Skywalker family, Luke, Leia, the Skywalker family in on it, Anakin, I guess Padme would be a Skywalker too, she married in. Jack says the Antonio Brown family, Antonio, Hollywood, their parents. Watch the, like the Antonio Brown's parents are like super normal and they're like, I don't know what happened with Antonio. <laughs> Don't know what happened. It just. He's the only one ain't clapping. Jason Dominguez spanning the globe. Another one for Alexander. Robert Pawson paper. His name is Robert Pawson. Stephen K. A's. <laughs> we got Tanner Ha to four nine. Wow, spank my spanks my bad bottom is on there. And we've got Eric Rivera, first out of three autographs out of this jumbo box. 23 out of 100. Angels, that'll be for Ryan S. I would love to see the Trump family on on Family Feud. Jason Dominguez, Chrome, Trump versus Clinton family, and then watch America just melt down. Twitter would just melt down. They wouldn't know what to do with themselves. There's Jason Dominguez, Chrome going to Alexander. 
<laughs> if they did that for charity, you know how much money they would make on that? They should do that for charity. Charity. Trump family. You got, you got Donald, Melania, Ivanka, Kush. How many family? How many? How many? I actually don't know how many people you get. Four or five? I guess I'll, guess I'll find out in a second. Let's mute the commercials. If they did that for charity, you know how much millions they would make? They'd never do it, but <laughs> it'd be great. There's Drew Waters to four ninety nine. Jeremy Pena, yeah. America would be scarred for life. Both sides might have never ending tweet storms. Yeah, Hillary would be hiding answers. Josh K. Astros, Donald would be getting <laughs> getting help from Russians. It would just be an S show. He'd be the worst. Uh, Bobby Bradley to 250 paper. Bobby Witt Jr. paper. Royals, Wes Thomas with that one. Bobby Wood Jr. Chrome, Anthony Velope Aqua Shimmer to 125 for Alexander. Piece of the packaging. <laughs> More paper. Why hasn't I feel like I feel like SNL should be on top of this sketch? Dominguez paper, and all of those add up. I wish there was a, that too. Chrome Robert Possum for Stephen K and the A's. And the Jason Dominguez paper for Alexander W. Right, I think SNL should do that, Skates is Jack B. They could, they could make it work. Bring bring back the old uh, bring back the old characters that did the that did those impressions from back in the day. It could be like an anniversary show thing. And we got Bryce Ball, one forty seven to one fifty blue chrome, Matt McRae, Braves. We like Bryce Paul. Is he good? Zach's saying he's nice. There you go. Good answer. All right. Uh, good answer. I feel like that's a little too clever, though. It has to be like mouth, like teeth. Yeah, get Dana Carvey back doing, yeah, it could be all sorts of things. Something you'd hate to get your finger stuck in. Those are how we're gonna go with Wendell. 
Not the window? Nobody got these? They only got number one answer and that was it. Number four. Bowling ball. You don't want to get your finger stuck in a bowling ball. Electric socket. Yeah, I guess you're right. You don't want that to happen. Blue. Hmm. I don't like the people who are serving. Those are terrible answers. that museum collection some of these boxes right here we'll close with those two we've got about another 20 30 minutes to go yeah I think Daryl Hammond did uh, did Clinton there's a great documentary about Daryl Hammond is he Documentary worthy? <laughs> or does he have a really interesting story? I don't know the Daryl Hammond story. I was actually going to mention that you could save up to 80% of single care. You know about this? I want to interrupt. Like a West Wing so, moment. So Take 10 seconds to lower the cost of your prescription. I don't want to decide. The Eric Garner story? No. It's interesting. He made it himself, I think. Had to be a mental break. Try to kill himself. Turns out he had all this childhood trauma he didn't remember. Wow, that does sound intense. But yes, also, also interesting. I didn't realize that. Yes, a lot, a lot of, a lot of comics will have generates that from somewhere. There's Jacob Amaya, refractor autograph, Dodgers to four ninety nine. That is for Brian Zeller and my Dodgers, and and I will do a a, a recast just at the beginning of the video. I'm going to do a recap. I should say that an hour in. <laughs> so if, you, if you're watching the replay and you got an hour in, sorry. You can fast forward to the end. There'll be a recap. Or possibly a separate video if I forget. But there, there will be a recap somewhere. There's Jason Dominguez, Bowman Scouts Top 100. That will be another one for Alexander W. Baseball's back, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Poss and Paper. Feud's back. Feud's definitely back. There's Aramis Aidman to 250. And once again, his name is Robert Poston for Stephen K and the A's. Good answer. Number one answer. That's 58. I would pass. Isn't there some strategy there? There's only four answers. Helmet was 58. I mean, I guess you got to, I guess you got to get the point. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, see now that's number, that's 20, 78 answers already gone. With Seth Beer to 150. Oh, fire code. Oh, okay. I guess they're going to get it. 
Last answer. It's probably only like four people who said this. I love taking that five first because because they're so handsome and they're suspenders. There's Lionel Valera, Dodgers. That goes to Brian Zeller, another Dodger autograph. So that last answer is gonna be the tough one. Good answer. Mask. There it is. Oxygen mask. They got it. number one answer. Whoa, not there? Greg, Scotch. Greg. Yeah, I think Greg has got it. Drink. There's Bobby Witt Jr. paper for Wes and the Royals. All right, am I going over or under on the Hartman family here? I'm going to go under. I'm going to keep hammering that under. I got it last time. I think I had four goose eggs in a row. Got my under. Saved my under. Ford Proctor, 154 out of 250. That's for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's going to go to Fred and the Rays. There's Brian Mata to 150. That's for the Red Sox. That'll be for Wade. And on we go. Onwards. Let's get some of that museum collection going. 2018 museum collection. Pretty nice stuff in here. So now we're getting into the real high-end stuff. We got the prospect stuff out of the way, and then comes the high-end stuff. Come on, Johnson and Johnson. Who knew? Baby powder? Cancer. Ovarian cancer. That's rough. All right. Good luck. Here we go. I think the hits are on. Oh, there's a redemption in there. I think base card on the bottom, hit on the bottom like that. It's been a minute or two since we've done some Muse Collect. Yeah, I got really lucky there, Jack. You're right. I was like betting under nine on a baseball game. It's five three after the first inning, and then nobody scores anymore. And you're sweating that. You're sweating that total all game long. Previous episode of Family Feud. If you're just joining us, first first woman got she got 140 points, and I was like, oh, my under is in trouble. But then the next person. He got 27 points on the first answer. There's Greg Maddox to 150. And then proceeded to roll four goose eggs in a row. 
Those are rough times. I guess I guess I'll do that redemption last, just in case. So the one back here behind you, Darvish, is Raphael Devers, rookie Raphael Devers, 007 out of 299. Wade Valentine with the Red Sox. On this side is the quad relic. That's Hyunjin Ru, Dodgers edition, 21 out of 75. That is for Brian Zeller and the Dodgers. Fast money. I'm going under on the Hartman family. For this question, we asked 100 single women. How many drinks can a guy have on a date before you start to wonder about it? Four. Oh. Name an occupation in which you use a ruler. Architect. Name a part of the body that some people have replaced. Breast. Name a household pet it's often hard to get rid of. Termites. Name a food people. Pokey pets. Red Sox. Way found us. All right, that guy actually did pretty well. All right, uh, behind Don Mattingling is single player signature. Swatch's triple relic autograph of... How many drinks can a guy have on a date before you start the war? Short name. J. J. Javier. Javier Baez for the Cubs. JC with the Cubbies. It's a good answer. Tier, tier one, why not? Termites was only three? Ooh, he's at 91. 91. My under is looking good here. All right, the relic in the middle is... Big Poppy, David Ortiz to 199. And that'll be for Wade Valentine. Okay, for this question, we asked 100 single women. How many drinks can a guy have on a date before you start to wonder about it? There's Don Mattingly. 38 out of 60. That autograph going to... Uh, I think Alex, right? Yeah, Alexander W. with the Yankees. Hips, because that's a good answer, Jack. Name a household pet that's often hard to get rid of. And Dylan Cease, gold ink autograph, 19 out of 25. Name a part of the body that some people have. Eggs, eggs, you whip eggs, don't you? She didn't understand that. I should give her that last one. Let me read this last one to you. Name a part of the body that some people have replaced. Your leg. <laughs> it's Steve Harvey. Uh, Golden God, Steve, Har uh, Steve Harvey. Dylan Cease going to Zach Paul in the wind. What if Steve Harvey pops out of here? Before you start to wonder about it, you said. Thirty-seven. That's good. They're at one twenty-eight already. Okay. What's going on here? Got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, are these all autographs? I think so, actually. Now 146. Interesting. Got to sweat this, sweat this fast money total here, you guys. Four. All right, they're at 150. Miguel Sano, rookie autograph. A mouse. Survey said. Twelve. Number one answer. Ants. Ants were the number one answer. Points. Twins. Ron Shepard. Is Ian Hat for the Cubs? Nice. JC with the Cubs. 
We need 38 people. Survey I don't think she's going to get 38. 48? Wow. 48 points. on. Do you whip Cool Whip? Isn't it pre-whipped? I don't know Cool Whip. There's Tyler Stevenson. They got she got 48 on that 210. My over my my under is ruined. That goes to Jamie and the Reds. Tyler Stevenson. We got Carson Fulmer out of 150. That goes to Zach Paul and the White Sox. I think he's one of the reasons why I think White Sox could be low key real good. This year, maybe. Next year. Next couple of years, for sure. And Chad Pinder. Jersey and autograph. Going to Stephen K. and the A's. All right. So that was Bowman Inception. Now here's some Topps Inception 2018. This has the two cards right here and then the hit on the bottom. There we go. It's Chris Bryant to 99. Lewis Brinson reveals. Ooh, nice Yohan Mankata. Eight out of 99. Silver ink autograph. Another white sock for Zach Paul. You, you you whip it, huh? I wasn't, I wasn't sure about cool it. Besides money? Phone number. Good answer, Ron. That's number one answer. That's 75. All right. Yeah. Everyone always plays, huh? I feel like there's got to be a strategy somewhere where you where you pass. All right, clearly authentic, just one hit in here, and it's going to be a nice one. Victor Robles. Nice Victor Robles here. Nats, Michael Belfi with the Nationals. These are kind of deceptively heavy. All right, we've got three cards per pack, 12 packs per box. Here's, this This could turn your break. If you've been having a bad break, this could turn your break around. Name something a woman might put in a, put in a male stripper's G-string. Her panties. All sorts of good things here. Oh, put her panties. Is that what you do, Cheryl? Wow, two people surveyed said that. All right, you can see all the packs in there. All right, let's, let's roll through these, folks. Is there a little notch right there? It is. A little notch right there. A way to hide these hits, maybe? We'll try to. We've got Joey Votto, 24 out of 99. Tools of the Trade Dual Relic for the Reds, Jamie. We got the card under here is Miguel Andujar jersey for the Yankees. That's going to be for Alexander. And the graded card is going to be Reese Hoskins. Nice. A little mini right here. 2017 Bowman Chrome Mini graded an 8.5. Phillies, that'll be for Quentin Carter. All right, looks like we got, we got, slide these up here. All right, I think we'll, we'll do it that way. Andy, we got, uh, 
72 out of 100 franchise favorites. That's pretty cool. Art reproduction card uh, at a transcendent, looks like. Nice. That'll be uh, Indians edition. That goes to Matt McRae and the Tribe. Then we've got an autograph, Shane Baz, Pirates edition here. That goes to Michael Belfi. And the graded card is Cal Ripken Jr. Nice. Out of 2019 Tops Update, photo variation, graded a nine for the Orioles. Michael Belfi with that. Now in the, I forgot, I should have said this earlier. In the instance, they're in their college uniform. They'll go to the team, because there's no official checklist for, I guess we'll go by the checklist on that particular year. Why don't we do that? We'll go checklist first. All right, we've got Russ Swan. Remember <laughs> Russ Swan? Uh, that'll be for the M's. We got Justice Sheffield, dual relic and autograph. That'll be uh, New York Yank, no, Seattle edition right here. That goes to Zach Paul. And look at that. Nice Trevor Hoffman. You don't see a lot of Trevor Hoffman autographs. From a Panini VIP box. Trevor Hoffman auto. The Hall of Fame closer. Going to Jesse O and the Padres. That's pretty nice. After Right after this break, Daniel. I think this is going to take a little bit longer than I thought. But... I originally had slotted 7.30 in it, but I think we're going to be blowing past that we have. And these, these actually take a while. So maybe in another 30 minutes, I would say. This is going to end up being a two-hour mixer. All right, we've got Tommy Gregg. Braves, that'll be for Matt McCray. we got Pete Alonzo. For the Mets, that'll be for Tony Barkey. And we've got a Shohei Otani. Nice. 2019 Panini Prison Baseball. Hyper green and yellow Shohei Otani. That's nice. You can pre-order the latest Prison Baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Like that? Good, good plug there. Yeah, this is the mixer that keeps on going. I forgot how many packs and cards were in here in these aren't the easiest to open either. All right, but some good things inside. We've got out of 25, Gunnar Henderson, Orioles. That'll be for Mike Belfi. We got Game Worn Pants, Steve Carlton. Pants specifically. There you go. That goes to the Phillies. That'll be for Quinton. And we've got a, oh, this is a proof right here. Jeremy Ellerman. Nothing on the back. Uh, Jeremy Ironman. He is an Oakland A. Uh, second round pick. So that'll go to Stephen K and the A's. All right, for the Indians, Ethan Hankins. That'll go to Matt McRae. We got an old school Oriole right here. That's Jim Palmer. Nice. 194 out of 275. O's. That'll be from Mike Belfi. And we've got from Valiant, we've got Connor Scott. He sounds like an Oriole. Or no, not a... Uh, he sounds like a... I'm not going to look at the screen. A Marlin to me. 
type 2 diabetes and risks for heart disease. Damage Nailed it. That goes to Miami. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card to 299. Nice. Maybe get that graded. That goes to Jesse O and the Padres. We got Pete Alonso, a Tops Now rookie card, uh, featuring his go ahead home run, capping a comeback and a doubleheader sweep. There you go. Good moment there for Pete. Goes to Tony Barkey and the Mets. And we got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. authentic autograph uh, in his Lansing Lugnuts gear. That's awesome. That goes to Toronto, of course. That'll be for Jack. All right, we're halfway through this box. Actually, I think that's going to be a little more efficient. All right, we got Josiah Gray. That's actually a big price. He might be in the Dodgers organization now. He did a lot of deals. That goes to the Reds. That'll be for Jamie. We've got Wander Franco to 50. That goes to Tampa Bay Rays, Fred Schultz, and another Vlad Guerrero Jr. for Jack. Nice. 2019 Tops On Demand graded a 9. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Slicing the top right there. We've got Yogi Berra, Yankees. That's for Alexander. Two out of ten from a playoff baseball. That's cool. We got Joe Musgrove, Astros rookie auto for Josh K. And we've got Leaf Flash, Braxton Ashcraft. He sounds like a Ranger or a twin to me. Show me Ranger, show me Twins. No. And Pittsburgh Pirates. That'll go to uh, Mike Belfie. All right, we got, here's a Ranger, Josh Young. He's supposed to be a big deal. For the Rangers, that'll be for Jason K. We got a Nats autograph, Mason Den oh, Did I mark myself there? Look at that. Mason Denberg. Denberg going to Mike Belfi and the Nationals. And then we've got Shane McClanahan. He does not ring a bell. Shane McClanahan. I thought I had it. Is that a Ray? Yep, he is in the Rays organization. Confirmed. Fred Schultz with that one. Sean Mercer. There you go. Good answer. Good answer. We got Jorge Polanco, that's a twin. That'll be for Ron Shepard. We've got Garrett Hampson for the Rockies. 10 out of 10, nice low number on that for the Rocks. Adam Kupperman and that's Brandon Nee. I thought that was Pete for a second. 98 out of 99 from Clearly Authentic. Nice, that'll go to the Metropolitans, Tony Barkey, one more. And then one more and then we're done. 
some nice, some solid stuff out of here. We got a frame here for the Tigers. That's Alan Trammell, 72 out of 100. That will be for uh, Alan Trammell, Tigers, Mike Belfi. And we've got Fernando Tatis Jr., nice rookie card there for the Padres, Jesse O. And Victor Robles, graded a nine. Rookie Victor Robles, going to Mike Belfi as well. Nice, nice run for Mike at the end. Last box in this break, then we're going to give away that Jason Dominguez in this break. The Martian being given away in the Martian Mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming up after this will be Mosaic Cello Pack 28. Take a quick little, quick little, quick five after this, and then what else is sold out? We're actually pretty close to the end of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're only going to have like an hour left in the show. This is uh, this is considered a box, I guess, a, a twelve pack box. Yeah, I don't think anything else is sold out yet, so I don't know. we have an hour left, so we've got time to fill up a couple of things if you'd like, ladies and gentlemen. So maybe a, a few short breaks. That score football might be a nice, nice spot there. We can work, or we can work on that NT basketball. Close out with that. There's Dick Grote from Duke University, four out of ninety-nine. Look up all of these. Dick Grote. Mm, I don't know. It'll go somewhere. We'll look that up. He's either going to be a pirate, cardinal, Philly, or giant. We've got Kiebert Ruiz to 50. That'll be for the Dodgers. That'll go to Brian Zeller and Francisco Mejia, Padres edition, graded a 9. Remember, Prism Baseball pre-orders on jazbeescasebreaks.com right now. Drops on Friday. Uh, yeah, sometimes we'll do just, just Gold Rush breaks, Sean Mercer. These are actually pretty fun. Ryan S. wants to get that mosaic filled. Yeah, that two-box hobby. Don't sleep on that. There's Zach Birdie. It's got to be White Sox, right? The White Sox. That'll be for Zach Paul. We got Mickey Mantle, 64 out of 99. I'm sure there's some so strong value here out of Immaculate Baseball. Yankees. That will be for uh, Alexander. Ronald Acuna, rookie debut. AAG grade, Gem Mint 10. I think I've heard of those guys too. Uh, is there a is there a certification? Can we do Jaspi grades? Is that crazy? Is there a certification process to be graded? We've got Dave Clark. That'll be for the Cubs. That'll be for JC. We got Randy Johnson right here for the Diamondbacks. That'll be for Rick T. We've got Keston Hira. Nice. Rookie card graded a nine for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Mike Tower. All right, speaking of Keston Hira, here's another one. Nice rookie Keston Hira might be worth grading. That'll be for, once again, Mike Tower and the Brew Crew. We've got Ozzie Smith, the Wizard, 27 out of 99 for the Cardinals, Josh. And we've got Carlos Hernandez, uh, Prismatic Green Wave. It's 
guy, those colors look like Dodgers, right? He's got to be on the Dodgers. No, not not 53-year-old Carlos Hernandez, the gold catcher. I remember him. I mean, prospect Carlos Hernandez. Minor League Baseball pitcher Carlos Hernandez is a Kansas City Royal. We've got Steven Matz for the Mets. 15 out of 15. Five-star auto uh, Tony Barkey with the Metropolitan. We've got Roy Halliday, 10 out of 99. Upper Deck Portraits. Come on, Upper Deck. No. It's Toronto, right? That's the old Toronto Blue Jays tee. Or the end of the bird. Or the T. They did have a T, right? I, I remembered a T. Those are kind of cool uniforms. There it is. Oh, sorry. There it is. All right, that goes to Jack and the Bluebirds. And, oh, come on, more leaf here. Uh, Owen White. You gotta look these up. Owen White, minor league baseball player. He is gonna go to the Rangers, Texas Ranger. That'll be for Jason K. We got Clayton Kershaw autograph. No? Facsimile? Autograph. No, that's a facsimile. Oh, that got me. It wouldn't be a black ink autograph anyway. Dang. That goes to Brian Zeller and the Dodgers. There's Mike Piazza. This silver will go to you as well. I feel like we pulled one of these earlier today, one of our mini box breaks. There we go. There's Tim Anderson. Nice. 16 out of 74 archives autograph. That goes to the White Sox. That'll be for Zach Paul. I know, they are making me work on this. I thought, I thought this was a different Gold Rush break in my head, to be honest with you. We got Jim Palmer Relic, Sport Kings, for the Orioles. We've got Pete Alonzo, Rookie. Nice. Might be worth grading these. Rookie cards, the Fernando Tatis Jr., the Vlad Guerrero, Tony with the Mets. And we've got... Nice, the Big Hurt, Authentic Auto from 1990 Bowman. Trust me, she'll like it too. White Sox, Zach Paul. We've got B DJ Peterson. I think that's a Dodger. Or am I thinking of DJ Peters? I'm thinking of DJ Peters. He never got called up. What organization were you with? I think he was with the Mariners organization. Do you have a White Sox hat on? He was a first rounder. No, he was drafted in the... Hmm, I don't know. He's going to go somewhere. Cody Bellinger rated rookie. And we've got Freudus Nova. National Pride Braves? The Capital One Wallet is the 
Walmart Rewards card puts cash back in your wallet. Earn 5% cash back on everything you buy at Walmart.com. Astros. Does it say today's date? What's in your wallet? What's your favorite dance? That got pushed to, didn't that get pushed to Friday? The prison baseball? Yeah, prison baseball got pushed to the 19th, according to blowout cards. Sorry, I forget, if it still says 17th, I apologize. Uh, Matt McRae with the, no, not the Braves, the Astros. But also, Richard, it's not, not sold out yet. And we're out of time anyway. It drops on Friday. Sorry about the... I could have sworn we changed that, but... We'll do it. Kyle Tucker, who I think is also an Astro. We'll look these up. That goes to Josh K. Jonathan Lewisaga is a Yankee. That'll be for Alexander. We've got uh, Jim Bunning, Phillies edition from Transcendent. That'll be for Quentin Carter. We got Glaber Day, Triple Threats, Green Pulsar. Five out of five. Alexander, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Casey Mize, former number one overall pick. For the Tigers, that's going to be Michael Belfi. And we've got Andrew Suarez. I think he's. The college cards kill me here. Uh, Andrew Suarez. I think he's a giant. I'm going to say giant. Show me giants. That goes to Wade Valentine. I just nailed it. Although I do like this challenge though here. All right, we've got Lance. Remember old Lance Johnson. White Sox, Zach Paul. We've got a Tigers autograph, Andre Lipsius. That'll be for Mike Belfi. And we've got the out of 100, Sammy Sosa. I still have to watch that 30 for 30. But I heard that it's not very good. Nick didn't like it either. And he's a, he's a fan of the Sammy Sosa. All right. We got Justin Verlander, Astros edition. That's going to go to Josh K. We got Tim Tebow, purple chrome to 250. That's for the Mets. Tony Barkey, and another Leaf card. That's Jameson Hanna. I think is a pirate. No, I'm thinking of Jameson Tyon. Jameson Hanna is in the Reds organization. Cincinnati with that one, and that'll be for Jamie. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your break. We made it. We'll figure out where these where these Team USA cards go. Uh, we'll send them to the right place. Probably the team they played for the longest or the pro team they were associated with. The Lance Armstrong one I thought was good. All right. If you had a bad break, guess what? You saw that Jason Dominguez autograph. You still have a shot at it. If you had a good break, this could be a really nice cherry on top. So let's go back to the list. Let's grab all your names from Rick and the Snakes down to Michael and the Nats. Let's get your names in here. The name on top after, come on, six and a six, 12 times, already a two hour mixer. Six and a six, 12 times. The name on top after 12 gets the Jason Dominguez. The juice is worth the squeeze, ladies and gentlemen. Three, four. I said, how much weight does a woman gain during pregnancy? You said 40 pounds. Survey said. And 12th and final time. There you go. After 12, congrats to. And thanks, everybody, for getting in. Really do appreciate it.
Alexander Weprin, he had the Yankees. And he gets the Jason Dominguez after 12. So there you go, man. No Dominguez is in the box, in the boxes, but the giveaway you get. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let's do a quick recap. Most of these were from, most of this group is going to be from that uh, gold rush here, which kind of had some surprises in there too. Nice Frank Thomas. I do like the graded cards in there. Those rookie cards don't sleep on and stuff like this too. And is that a rookie Kershaw? That might be from 2007. I think so. Yeah, that's his uh, one of his probably one of his first cards. So Dodgers grade that or sell that or whatever you want to do. Here's the other group of those Leaf cards here. The these are these Leaf prospects. All right, there we go. These were the main hits right there. Keston Hira, Acuna Jr., Zach Collins, Francisco Mejia, Victor Robles. We got Brandon Finding Nemo, some more Leaf prospects here. We got Vlad Guerrero Jr., Vlad Guerrero Jr. again. Autograph in his minor league gear, which I thought was pretty neat. More of the Leaf Flash stuff. We got Shohei Otani, Trevor Hoffman autograph. You don't see a lot of those. Nice Trevor Hoffman. Graded Cal Ripken Jr., Reese Hoskins Mini. Graded, I think this group is also from or just the extra auxiliary cards from from the Gold Rush break. Again, those rookie cards, like the, the Pete Alonzo's and the Tatis Juniors that I went by there, Padres and Mets, those are probably worth worth grading. So we're mixing some old old school cards there too. Nice Victor Roll. So this is actually part of our break itself. Javier Baez, Mookie Betts. Oh, I want to get some more museum collection. I love that stuff. I like all the... Uh, <laughs> the daughter, not eligible for the show, the 16-year-old daughter, not eligible for the show, got her family on there and they didn't even want to be on it. That's great. Bob. That was nice. All the chrome and paper Bobby Witt Juniors and Robert Possons and Dominguez's were nice. If you had a talking scale, name one specific word you wouldn't want to Nice David Justice out of five right here. Jonathan Scope. David Ortiz. I'm trying to I'm running out of room here. And we started the very first auto of the break. An hour and 50 minutes ago was Rowdy Tellez. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to all, congrats to all, and for everyone who sat through this. Uh, this is a solid mixer, but it was just long. Uh, for those of you who hung out with me throughout the break, keeping me company, I really appreciate that too. Made the break feel a lot shorter, actually. So thank you very much. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.